Hey, this is Tasneem again. Welcome to my channel, The Basic Point. So if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell button. And if you like my videos, please, please, please give a thumbs up and you can also comment down below. So in the previous video, uh, I've shown uh, you some insertion option like graph chart, um, image videos, etc. So today I want to uh, show you uh, some options called transitions and animations. So, what is transitions and animations? So, here, here are actually two options called transitions and animations. So, first uh, we are going to talk about the transitions. So, what is transitions? Transitions act is actually uh, the transition from one slide to another slide. Okay? Uh, transition from one slide to another slide. So, whenever uh, you uh, it represents the slide to your client or to a teacher or to whatever else, whoever else. So you, you, you have to change the slides, right? So whenever you change the slides, how the, cha how the change is, uh, ha um, how the change will occur actually. So this is the transition, okay? In search and transition, we have, we have an option called transitions. So go to the tab and you can find different, different, different stuff. So, Transition options. There are non cut, fade, push, wipe, split, etc. I'm going to show you some interesting transitions. So there is push. So how push works? Like this. There is wipe. So there are options like split, reveal, it will just appear. Random bars, it will appear like random bars, it will appear. In, in, in the shape to like uncover cover uncover so there are different kinds of transition option actually you, you can you can put different different transition for different different slide like for this slide you have uh, choose flash for this slide you can choose the push for this slide you can choose reveal random bar shape cover theater huh. interesting zoom okay so now um, <clears throat> let's see uh, how this transition works uh, when we uh, uh, present these slides okay so I have told you before that there are, there are some options like normal mm, at, at the right corner uh, of our window, normal, slide shorter, reading view, and the slideshow. So we are uh, we are in the normal mode now. So if we press here slide shorter, this will show you all the slides. Okay, this will show you show you the, all the all the slides together just like an index so here is another option reading view that will slow you uh, show your slides like a pdf okay so if you press enter it will change and the transition has occurred yeah the transition is working actually see random bars shape glitter option zoom in or zoom out whatever it is so this was the reading view option and the lastly we have slideshow option basically we choose, choose this one slideshow to present any kind of slides so i'm going to show so this so when whenever i press enter or the next button it will show our slide with the transitions
so if you want to go back to the normal mode for, uh, what you have to do you have to press the esc button the esc button from your keyboard so press the button and it will go back to the previous mode and if you press here the normal so it will go back to the normal mode okay so there uh, there are some transitions so why we need transition and is it necessary to give transitions so in, in case of any kind of serious or professional kind of presentation uh, it's better to avoid transition or you can give some flash or you can give put some uh, transition and that is not that much fancy like like this glitter or honeycomb this is too much fancy or this uh, this consumes so much time right so so uh, whenever you want to change the slide this will take so much time to transit transit from one slide to another slide so it's better not to use uh, this kind of fancy or time consuming transition in case of uh, serious presentation and uh, you can also customize your duration uh, like uh, for honeycomb the duration was 4.4 you can uh, <clears throat> decrease the transition by two so here so now the transition will occur quickly but still uh, it is recommended not to use this kind of apparel or not to this uh, use this kind of fancy transition in case of formal presentation but in case of your school or in case of your classroom presentation you, you, you can use use this or you, you can use any kind of transition but in case of formal or business <clears throat> or any kind of official presentation it's uh, recommended to not to use any kind of time consuming or um, any kind of fancy transitions okay so so there are more options like sound you can add sound here like there are some sounds again for your personal use and for informal use you, you, you can use these kinds of sounds but it's not recommended again for the official use oh my god zoom <laughs> this is funny right so yeah there there is an option like advanced light on mouse click if you uncheck uh, uncheck this one whenever you try to show if you click on mouse the slide will not change you have to change using the enter button or using the arrow button but if you if you tick this one like this one, if you tick this one you can you can use your mouse okay you can use your mouse or even you can use your keyboard you can use both actually so there is another option apply to all so like uh, I, I want to apply one transition for all the slide so in that case you can apply any transition and click here apply to all then now you still present this will apply to all of our slides I don't want to apply to all of them. Okay, that was all about transition. There is not nothing more here. So, if you find my video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell button. And if you like my videos, please give give a thumbs up and you can also comment down below. So that's all from today. Bye.